Gate Aerospace Academy is an institute dedicated to only aerospace engineering. We are providing various courses like Gate Aerospace Classroom Program, Gate Aerospace Online Program, Gate Aerospace Postal Program, and Gate Aerospace Test Series Program. These are our past results, and most of the ranks are from coaching classes only. New batch for Gate Aerospace 2526 is going to start from 18th February. There is 10% discount for this batch. So if you are looking for good coaching, then you can join us. A multi-stage axial compressor with overall efficiency of 0.83 is used to compress air at a stagnation temperature of 300 Kelvin through a pressure ratio of 10 is to 1. Each stage of compressor is similar and the stagnation temperature rises across each stage is 20 Kelvin. Assume Cp is equal to 1005 Joule per kilogram Kelvin and Gamma is equal to 1.4 for air. How many stages are there in compressor? So stagnation temperature T01 at the inlet is equal to 300 Kelvin. Pressure ratio Rp is equal to 10. And isentropic efficiency is equal to 0 0.83. We know the relationship between isentropic efficiency and pressure ratio that is that is equal to T01 bracket Rp raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma minus 1 upon T02 minus T01. T02 is exit stagnation temperature, T01 is inlet stagnation temperature. So after substituting, we will get 10 raised to 1.4 minus 1 upon 1.4 minus 1 upon T02 minus T01. So temperature rise across the compressor is equal to T02 minus T01. That is equal to 300 10 raised to 1.4 minus 1 upon 1.4 minus 1 upon 0 0.83. So T02 minus T01 is equal to 336.39 Kelvin. And stagnation temperature rise across each stage is given, that is across each stage is 20 Kelvin. So number of stage will be equal to number of stage is equal to delta t for complete compressor divided by delta t for each stage so number of stage is equal to 336.39 divided by 20 is equal to 16.81 that is equal to 17 so total 17 stages are required Next question is about centrifugal compressor. A centrifugal compressor is designed to operate with air at the leading edge of tip of inducer that is eye of impeller. The blade angle is 45 degree and the relative Mach number is 1. The stagnation temperature of incoming air is 300 Kelvin. Consider gamma is equal to 1.4. Neglecting pre-will and slip, the inducer tip speed is in meter per second. So we know that Without pre-will, how will oxy triangle look like? We have already seen in the lecture also. With pre-will and without pre-will, both we have seen in the lecture. So without pre-will, will oxy triangle look like this? So angle is 45 degree. So Mach number is equal to 1, that is given. So W1 divided by speed of sound A is equal to 1. So W1 divided by A is under root gamma R T1 is equal to 1. So we can write W1 is equal to under root gamma R T1. Squaring both sides, we will get W1 square is equal to gamma R T1. So using energy equation, we can write T1 is equal to T01 minus C1 square by 2Cp. T01 is given. Right. So we can write C1 is equal to W1 sin 45 degree from velocity triangle. Similarly, U1 is equal to W1 
cos 45 right let's substitute c1 value in energy equation t1 is equal to 300 minus c1 is w1 square sin square 45 upon 2 into 1005 that is equal to 300 minus w1 square upon 4020 we can substitute it w1 square is equal to gamma r t1 in place of t1 we can write 300 minus w1 square upon 4020 so we can write w1 square is equal to 120540 minus 0 0.1 w1 square after solving 1.1 w1 square is equal to 120540 so we will get w1 is equal to 331 meter per second 331 meter per second so u1 is equal to w1 cos 45 so that is equal to 331 into cos 45 we will get 234 meter per second so inducer tip speed they are asking so that is 234 meter per second next question is for an ideal gas specific heat at constant pressure is 1147 joule per kilogram kelvin and the ratio of specific heat is equal to 1.33 what is the value of gas constant for this gas in joule per kilogram kelvin so cp is equal to 1147 joule per kilogram kelvin gamma is equal to 1.33 we know the relationship between cp and gamma cp is equal to gamma r upon gamma minus 1 this we have proved in the lecture 1147 is equal to 1.33 into r upon 0 0.33 after solving we get 284.6 joule per kilogram kelvin right this cp is equal to gamma r upon gamma minus 1 this we have already proved in the lecture in the lecture one right so we'll get 284.6 joule per kilogram kelvin 